This is the basic circuit for the clock pulse generator. In it we've got a variable resistor, a capacitor and an inverter, which is also known as a knock gate. When the capacitor is initially uncharged, the voltage at X is 0 volts. This signal is fed through the knock gate, making the voltage at A 5 volts. This signal goes through the feedback loop, making the voltage at Y also 5 volts. This then causes the capacitor to charge up to 5 volts, making the signal at point A 0 volts and the voltage at point Y 0 volts. This then causes the capacitor to discharge and the cycle repeats itself. The speed of the clock can be altered by changing the values of the resistance and the capacitor. Next in the circuit we've got a counter which changes the signal you get from the inverter to binary. And then after that we've got a thing that changes it to the signal from the counter to digital and then displays it on the Wii display thing. And it can only go up to 9, so after that you've got A, B, C, D, E and F. And then it goes back to 0.